Hello and welcome to Around the House with Kay and Tom and I'm Tom and today we're going to make uh, I got a new recipe for mashed potatoes, cream potatoes, whatever you want to call them. So first thing we got, we got these three large russet potatoes here. These are baked like bacon potatoes. And so we're going to peel these bad boys up and cut them up. Put them in this bowl here and wash them. And then we're going to turn them over to the Ninja Foodies. So let's get started. First we're going to peel away. Just like peel it, peel it, peel it. Just like all. Okay, now Kay finished uh, peeling these potatoes for me. Now i got to cut them into uh, chunks and get them ready to go into the cooker here. So I'll get started doing that. Okay, cutting right along here. Now I don't want these too big, but I don't want them too small either because you cook them too small and the small ones just turn into mush or something. So anyway, cutting right along on them. Like I said now, she washed these off real good. I was watching. I know she did. <laughs> and I'm sure you probably got a better way of cutting these. But that's why I cut these this time. Just like that. I know you couldn't hardly see any of that. That's the way it looked after I chopped them up. Just like that. So now the next thing we're going to do. Now after I've got them cut up like this, I'm going to put them back in the sink here in this bowl. And I'm going to rest them off real good again. Just like this. Like that. Now I'm going to drain the water off of them pretty good, as good as I can. And now I'm going to put them over here in this Ninja Foodie. Just like that. I'll put a half a cup of water down in here and now we'll get the pressure cooker lid <laughs> easy for you to say now we'll go put on the lid and turn it till it locks into place okay now if I can get to where I can see it I'm going to turn on the power and we'll go up here and hit pressure. This automatically goes to high. And time goes to 10 minutes. I'm going for 12 minutes. Okay, and then you hit your start button. Now I put about between a little over a cup and a half, but less than two cups of water in there with those potatoes. So now we'll be back now if y'all are familiar you know these little lights chase each other around for a couple minutes until they get caught up till it builds up some pressure and then it'll start counting down your minutes so we'll be back in a minute or two okay now the red button just come up on these potatoes here in this pressure cooker so it's still going to allow the little lines to chase each other around for a second or two and then they'll get caught up and then it'll start counting down Shouldn't take but another second or two now. Okay, and there it goes. The button has, I mean, the, the lights quit chasing each other around. Started counting down for 12 minutes now. And now we'll be back in a few minutes and take a look at them. And while I'm at it, thank you very much, all you people, as watches our videos and join our channel. We sure do appreciate it. And I hope you watch more of them. And so, we'll be back in a couple minutes. Now, in my large mixing bowl here, I'm going to take this half stick of butter. There. I'll put it down in there. So, when I dump those, I'm going to dump those potatoes in there in a minute. I want that butter to be on the bottom so it can get good and hot and melt and be really good. Now, that just finished with the pressure cooking there and it's starting to do a natural release well I'm going to go ahead and let it do a quick release let's take up here and turn it counterclockwise
Okay, and there once a little red button down, that means it's finished with the pressure cooking and the quick release. Now we'll open the lid and we'll see what we got in here. Don't forget to open this lid, you turn it away from your face, like this. And I'll still drop a couple of drops of water on the floor. Anyway, see if I can get to where you can see these taters. There they are. I see how tender they are. Oh yeah, go right through them with this with no problem. Now I'm going to take my handy dandy uh, fry daddy scoop here and we'll get these out and put them back in this large uh, bowl over here. Okay, now just scoop them up just like this. Put them right on top of that butter there. Oh, that's Land Lakes butter. That's what I like to use, Land Lakes. And I'll show you in a second when I get finished. There's not a, not even one little mid, spidget, midget here. There's not one little speck stuck to the bottom of this pot. <laughs> Look good. Now don't never use metal utensils inside this pot or any other non-stick bowler pot. I don't care what they say on TV. They say on TV all the time. You know, no matter how good their product is, they always got to tell one little film about it. And I say, oh yeah, go ahead and use metal utensils. Don't use metal utensils. If you do, you're going to scratch it and it's not going to last you too long. So now we've got them in the bowl now. The next thing we're going to do... I'm going to put a little salt in them. You know, uh, you have to use this for your own taste, you know. A little salt. A little pepper. Now, okay. Now we'll put a little, little dash of milk in here, but not a whole lot. And we'll get the mixing on, and then we'll see how it looks after we get to mix them. Okay, I'll put a little bit more salt in and I'll we'll put a little bit more pepper in. I see the little notch on this lid to open it here. There it is. Now, mix it up a little more. This is my Hamilton Beach soft scrub mixer here. Now you can use this mixer in, uh, in uh, non-stick pots and pans so it won't hurt them because it's got the soft edges on it. Now, that looks pretty good. Let me get me a little fork here and try it. Mm-hmm. You won't never have a better mashed potato than that. I don't believe. You have to search far and wide. So anyway, until next time, I hope you enjoyed my little video. I hope you watch more of them. I hope you come back to see me real soon. And until then, I hope y'all have a real good and safe day. And if you can, join my channel and give me a thumbs up. I sure would appreciate it. So until next time now, goodbye.